five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, hi, guys. It's great to see you again. I was just playing a hide and game of hide and seek with my kids because, you know, we talked about Jesus having to go into hiding, didn't we, last time? After he had raised Lazarus from the dead, remember, everybody was so excited. They were all crowding around him, and Jesus had to go off into hiding because some of the people, some of the leaders wanted to see Jesus arrested. Yeah, and they didn't want him to live anymore. They were upset. Well, today is the day when we celebrate when Jesus came out of hiding. So that's why we were playing hide and seek. And maybe you'll want to do that later with your family too. But Jesus came out of hiding today and he's going to be going into Jerusalem and he's going to ride on a donkey and they're going to wave palm branches. Do you know what that day is called? I'm not sure if you do, but if you don't, you're going to learn all about it. It's called Palm Sunday, and I have a wonderful story for you about a donkey. So I can't wait for you to hear it. It is going to be read to you by the author, Anthe DiStefano. Hi, my name is Anthony DiStefano, and I like to read you one of my children's books. It's called The Donkey That No One Could Ride. And it's a book that I wrote especially for this time of year, the Lenten and Easter season. It's based on a passage from chapter 19 of the Gospel of Luke about the first Palm Sunday. I really hope you enjoy it. And by the way, after I finish reading, I'll have a brief word to say to you adults who are watching too, because this book isn't just for kids. The Donkey That No One Could Ride there once was a donkey, young, weak, and small, so weak he could carry nothing at all. Even when children sat on his hide, he'd wobble and tumble and fall on his side. No matter how much he tried or he cried, this was a donkey that no one could ride. He couldn't haul stones. He couldn't dig ditches or carry rich men with their big bags of riches. He couldn't pull carts with huge bales of hay. Just lifting a feather would make his legs sway. No, this donkey was useless. No good at all. Too puny, too shaky, too scrawny, too small. Now the donkey's owner was quite mean and tough. He said to the donkey, I've had quite enough. He pointed his finger and said with a huff, You can't lift a person no matter how light. So take all your things and get out of my sight. Go away from here, donkey. Go away and just hide. What use is a donkey that no one can ride? So the donkey was led to the far edge of town, pulled by his neck with his head hanging down. He was tied to a post on a small dusty road and left all alone while his tears overflowed. Left all alone and wondering why he was born to be weak, born to be shy, born to be frightened, born to cry. Just then, two men appeared alongside the post in the village where the donkey was tied. They came without warning on that fateful day. They came and untied him and took him away. The donkey was frightened. He said to the men, where are we going? And then said again, where are we going? And what about me? Please leave me alone and just let me be. Keep quiet, the men said. We mean you no harm. Just follow us quickly, no cause for alarm. They walked on for miles and miles until they got to a town at the foot of a hill. At the foot of the hill stood a man tall and thin, wearing a cloak and a beard on his chin. He had eyes that seemed sad and longish dark hair and a voice soft and gentle that floated on air. He said to the donkey, it's time that you knew about the great thing that you're destined to do. You'll carry me into the city, we too. Into the city, I'll ride atop you. What's that you say? Cried the donkey with dread. There's simply no way. You've been misled. I'm just a small weakling. You must go ahead and look for another to take you instead. You see, I'm just hopeless. 
Ever since I was born, I've been subject to insults and teasing and scorn. My back's somewhat crooked. My legs aren't strong. I'm just a big failure who does everything wrong. Won't you believe me? The sad donkey cried. Just leave me alone and cast me aside. I'm just a poor donkey that no one can ride. The man looked at him with a face that was wise, with a warm, tender smile and love in his eyes. And then, in a calm and mysterious way, he opened his mouth and started to say, "My help is enough. It's all that you need. It's all you require in life to succeed." The weaker you are, the more strength I give. I'll be there to help you as long as you live. I know you feel tired, and frightened, and broken, but do you believe these words that I've spoken? Do you believe? I ask you again. Do you have faith? I can heal you, my friend. For some reason, the donkey was sure that he knew. The words the man spoke were honest and true. They were said with such kindness and caring and love. It seemed that they came from heaven above. The donkey burst out. I believe that it's true. I believe he repeated. I believe. Yes, I do. The man stretched his hand out and closed both his eyes. And then, to the little donkey's surprise, he felt the sensation he couldn't control from the top of his head right down to his soul. All of a sudden. He realized that now his body was stretching and changing somehow. Most amazing of all, at that very hour, the donkey began to sense he had power. He didn't feel small or weak any longer. Instead, he felt stronger and stronger and stronger. He could feel in his body the energy flowing. He could see with his eyes that his muscles were growing. His back felt like iron. His legs felt like steel. His chest felt so strong it just couldn't be real. It's a miracle! A miracle! The donkey cried out. A miracle! A miracle beyond any doubt. In order to show all the thanks that he felt, the donkey bowed his head down and knelt in front of the man who had made him so strong, with a beard on his chin and hair that was long. The man looked upon him with sorrowful eyes, and sat on his back and told him to rise. We're bound for that city that's west of the hill. I have a great mission I need to fulfill. The donkey got up. His tears had all dried. With big bulging muscles, he started to stride. No longer a donkey that no one could ride. Now he had courage and power and pride. He started to stride. He started to run. He couldn't believe he was having such fun. With a clippity clop and a clippity clop, he kept right on going with no need to stop. But as they drew near to the gate of the town, the donkey could hear a very strange sound. The curious noise made him perk up his ears. What could it be? It sounded like cheers. Soon, crowds of people came into sight, shouting and waving their arms with delight. They were cheering the man and giving him praise, yelling hosannas and crying hoorays. It was amazing to see the love they expressed. They called him a prophet and said he was blessed. In front of the donkey, they threw with their arms flowers and garments and branches and palms. They laid all these down and started to sing, calling the man a savior and king. The donkey was happy. Gone were his tears. Never had people sung in his ears. Never was there a moment so sweet as carrying a king with palms at his feet. And all his life after, the donkey rejoiced that the king had made such a wonderful choice to help with the greatest mission of all. The king used a donkey, young, weak, and small. So every year at Easter time, renew your hopes again. Remember how a little faith can give you strength. And then gather all your friends around and tell the tale of when a tiny donkey carried God into Jerusalem. Did you like that? <laughs> 
I know I liked that. I love that story. And I hope you did too. And I have sent the link to your grandma so that she'll be able to have you see it nice and clear and you can watch the whole thing, including the author's message after. But I have a message for you. I want you to remember that on that day when Jesus came out of hiding, that he went into Jerusalem and it was Palm Sunday and people were shouting, Hosanna, 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 blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed be the son of David. They were very, very excited and they were waving their palm branches because those were the branches that they had. I wish we had some palm branches right now, but we don't. So maybe I'll get a pine tree or something and go out and take a branch of that on Sunday. But anyways, that donkey was pretty special. He got to carry Jesus in. And I have a couple of crafts for you today that I thought you would like to do. This one is called a clothespin donkey craft. And the clothespins are going to be its legs. So you have a picture of a donkey and you have a palm leaf here and you might need some green paper or something and, or, or something that you can kind of cut it out or put it onto. And then what happens is you'll see it on your papers in your packet, but you just attach it and the, um, the legs become, or the clothespins and it's kind of cute. He's able to stand. Now, the next one is this. It's a picture of a donkey. And I thought maybe you would want to make a picture of Jesus coming into Jerusalem. So what I have here are some stencils. There's four of each. There's four palms and four coats. So you need to promise me you won't fight because there's one for each of you. Okay, those are the stencils and there's lots of different paper scraps. And so the Bible tells us that on that Palm Sunday day that what happened was the people all lined the streets and they shouted and they had a big parade and that they put their cloaks and their palm branches, they put them right in front of that donkey for that donkey to walk on. So I thought you might want to take some of those and add it to your picture. You might even have a larger piece of white paper that you could glue this onto. So, um, and we'll revisit the donkey throughout the rest of the week because he's going to stay with us throughout Holy Week. So I hope you enjoy those two crafts. And I think we should close with a prayer. Let's pray together. Lord God, we thank you so much for Palm Sunday and the beautiful story that we heard from our author. And we thank you that you would use something even as simple as a donkey and that you would love it and care for it. If you cared for a donkey, Lord, then we know that you love and care for us. And so we thank you and we give you praise on this Palm Sunday and help us to thank you and give you praise every day. Until we see each other again, keep us safe in your care. Amen. Bye, everybody. I gotta go find my kids. Remember, we're playing, we're playing hide and seek, so I've gotta get going. We'll see you later.